Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at using IOBit Uninstaller. This is a great replacement for the Add Remove programs under Windows. It's one of those things that's sort of like the Windows Disk Defragmenter and some of the other utilities under Windows. They're there, they work, but not very well. In this case, the problem with it is when a program isn't uninstalled correctly, you leave behind registry entries, you leave behind files, and you leave behind folders. This leaves your computer over time to have a lot of extra garbage on it. It's going to slow you down. A lot of people I know just add stuff and add stuff and add stuff, and they never even look at it for years, if ever. I've been to computers where I've seen 50, 100, 200 programs installed. This is going to get it done for you. It's going to get it done for you quick and effective. I think you're going to dig this. Essentially, you have, as you can see, a few options along the sidebar. You have your all your programs, which, as you can see, here's all of my programs. And, of course, you can list by size. You can list by install date by simply clicking. But you can also do the same thing right here. You buy recently installed, rarely used, which would be older, and largest programs, those that use up most space, whichever you're more comfortable with. You have your toolbar options, which will allow you to see any of your toolbars, remove any garbage you may have installed that you might not even know you have. And all you have to do is simply hit the uninstall button when something is highlighted, or double click it, and you can simply uninstall it that way. You have your Windows Update section, which is something you most likely don't need to play around with, but if a Windows Update screwed up your computer and you need to remove it, you can do so here. Uh, a lot of times these Windows Updates are hidden from the Add Remove programs to protect people, which is why this is kind of handy to get at those. And back up to the top under All Programs, here's another thing. Let's say you haven't done your computer in a while. Uh, you've got all these extra programs. You've got a billion icons on your desktop. What you want to do here is come over here and check Batch Install. Essentially, this will allow you to come through, find every program, as many as you want. You can click, 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 until you have everything you want to uninstall and hit the uninstall button and remove them all in batch. Great way to get caught up and clean your machine. Let's uncheck batch install here and take a look at one other feature here, and that's the forced uninstall. This is kind of neat because if you're looking through your computer, you find folders, you find files left behind that even IOBit uninstaller couldn't find, you can simply browse to that file, find it under the folder that you want to remove it from, open it, and you can hit next to remove it. You can also look around through Windows Explorer, find it, and drag and drop it right here, hit next, do the same thing. That's a nice way if you find something that somehow got left behind. I think you'll dig that as a, just a backup. It's a little, a little geeky, but I think, uh, I think it's a handy little option. So, now the IOBit uninstaller is a portable application. This means that you can download it to your computer and run it from there. There is no install, uninstall to it. Download it, save it, run it whenever you want, remove it if you don't want it. Uh, so it's a good idea if you're downloading this to make sure you put it, uh, maybe save it under desktop or somewhere where you know you can find it. I like desktop because it's a good spot where every once in a while you might be looking through your icons and spot and go, oh, geez, you know, maybe it's a good idea to go through and clean up my computer a little bit now. And that about covers it for the IOBit uninstaller. Did I mention it was free? It is absolutely free. Give it a shot. I think once you use it, you'll find you'll never go back to add remove programs again. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next time.